Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. Uh, here we are. We are on the eve of the pre-release for Commander Legends 2, Baldur's Gate. And uh, with that in mind, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a look back at Commander Legends uh, and do a draft booster box opening. If you can believe it, this product has already been in circulation since November of 2020. And uh, one thing that I always thought was very cool about this product was that even though it is, of course, a Commander product, it was constructed and engineered in a way that it was meant to be drafted as well. Um, unfortunately, it was also uh, produced and came out in uh, November of 2020. And as you can imagine, there wasn't a lot of paper magic being played at the time. So I personally never had a chance to, to draft this particular product. That is one thing I'm very much looking forward to with Baldur's Gate. Uh, but, you know, without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive on in and enjoy some memories here together as we prepare to jump into Baldur's Gate Commander Legends 2. So Commander Legends comes out, as I mentioned, in November of 2020. We are in the thick of a global pandemic. Not a ton of paper magic being played. Um, it also comes... Whoa! As I just throw packs all over the ground. It also comes with uh, the vaunted Jeweled Lotus... Um, it's got some spicy reprints in the way of Mana Drain and uh, Vampiric Tutor. And pick up these couple of packs here. And so it's got it's got a little bit of everything, right? It's got a fancy new chase card that everyone's after. It's got a couple of spicy reprints in there, and then plenty of other good commander-specific reprints to go along with it. Um, at the time of this particular opening, these boxes are probably sitting around 115. Uh, they're approaching a point where it's not particularly valuable to actually open them up. Um, EV-wise, it's, uh, it's, it's probably about or under the cost of a box. Unless you hit a really spicy, uh, you know, foil mythic or, or a jeweled lotus or, you know, even if you're hitting a mana drain or vamp tutor, it's really hard to make back the cost of a box at this particular point in time. Our first rare of the box is a Nightshade Harvester, cool little elf shaman. And then we've got the Fathom Fleet Swordjack, the Scaled Behemoth, and the Amorphous Axe is our first uh, first foil of the box foil common. Um, I actually have not opened a Dual Lotus. I've had a, I've done a, what maybe two other of these box openings on channel to this point, and uh, overall I've actually had some really good luck. I've had some interesting boxes <laughs> to say the least. Um, I always struggle with these particular packs as well, so bear with me one moment. All right. Uh, the uh, recent set boosters that featured uh, in Nuka Penna that featured the Vamp Tutor um, has dropped the price of that card a little bit. I have no doubt that over time it's going to recover, so I'm not too worried about that. But right now, itself, as one of the three big hits in the set, is still sitting at probably about $35, down from closer to $45. We've got Confiscate. We've got Kamal's Will as the uh, rare, first rare of the pack. And we've got the Power Stone Engineer, followed by the Dead Tide as an uncommon, and our Azure Fleet Admiral as the foil. Nothing too spicy yet, but as I mentioned, you know, it's a little bit hard outside of a Jewel Lotus or excuse me, hitting a mana drain or or and a couple other spicy hits to get back to the cost of a box. But if you're a commander fan and you just are trying to pick up some staples. I mean, just being able to pick up things like Commander Sphere and a lot of the other things in here that can be found to say his ring at the common and uncommon level, that does make it a, a good investment if you're trying to just, you know, again, build up your, your collection and build up some of those Commander staples. All right, we've got uh, the Lieutenant, Mindless Automaton, Hero's Blade, and our uh, next rare of the box is Coercive Recruiter, followed by another Dead Tide, sure, why not, a Skilled Animator, and a makeshift munitions as the foil. Again, nothing spicy yet. Uh, other really good hits would be um, from the commander slot, the Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, uh, best rare pull probably right now, still Jessica's will. So if you are gonna look, I think we've pulled one will already if you wanna pull some other wills. Uh, Jessica and Akroma's will are, are probably the way to go. Com nice command tower, again, command sphere. So lots of plenty of good playable cards, just the value is a little bit depressed right now. Humble Defector, Revenant, Brass Herald, and we've got Court of Grace as the uh, next rare in the, in the box. We've got Volcanic Torrent, a nice Reclamation Sage at the uncommon level, and a Farhaven Elf. Alright, moving right along, I would like to see uh, 
I would like this for this box to produce a couple of the crowd lands would be nice. I think those only average one, maybe two per box. They're they're a little difficult to, to get. Sky Diamonds, very nice. Okay, into our uncommon section here, we've got Fencing Ace, Feast of Succession, Humble Defector, and Sangir the Dark Baron. Pretty cool little uh, rare right there. Not bad, Vampire Noble. Interpret the Signs. Ictechic Salvage Splicer as the uncommon. And uh, Palace Sentinels as, as the foil. I'm actually, uh, well, for those of you who have maybe followed my channel for a little bit longer, um, I am an apologist for uh, the Dungeons & Dragons set. I actually really like the AFR Adventures in Forgotten Realms set. So Baldur's Gate for me, um, I have warmed up to it. I actually really didn't like a lot of the preview cards I saw initially, but I have really warmed up to the set and I was already a fan of the art, so I am very excited to be able to crack it open. What Did, did I even pull a rare in this pack? Oh, okay, we've got random common in the middle of the pack. I've seen boxes like this before. <laughs> we've got Lisa Shroud of Dusk as the uh, as a rare. We're gonna have another error box here. Uh, Shimmer Mirror and a Noxious Dragon is another uncommon. Super weird, super weird. So whatever case that I got these boxes from, and I believe they're all probably from the same case, and they've just kind of been sitting on my shelf, and I occasionally open one or one or so of them. Um, I've had some very strange luck with these boxes in terms of, uh, I'm, I'm fairly confident the last box I opened was just a straight up error box because the order of the cards, the track printing was all out of whack. And uh, I mean, no complaints. I actually had some really, really spicy pulls as a result, but be very interesting to see if that trend continues with this box. First response, hey, very cool. Uh, our foil etched in the box, we've got Ludovic Necro Alchemist. And I'm just going to take a moment to pause and enjoy that particular card. Um, that was another thing that was kind of unique to Commander Legends. It was the first set to introduce these foil etched cards. And I still think that these look really, really incredibly good. So we've got Ludovic. We've got Angelic Armaments, Patron of the Valiant, and Phyrexian Rager. All right, last pack of the first row. I didn't even get a... Uh, in my last box, I don't even think I got a foil etch card. Again, no real complaints because I actually crushed it with the rest of the box, but it was a very strange box. So I'm happy to see that we at least got the foil etched in this particular box. They're usually in these draft boxes about one per box. All right, we've got Vow of Lightning, Thirst for Knowledge, Grafted War Gear, and our first mythic of the box is not a particularly good one. This is Profane Transfusion. We've got Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator. Arkham Weaver as a uh, commander, commander rare, and Scholar of the Stars as the foil. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, one of the issues with this particular product is look at that. I mean, these are sitting in packs, and you can already see that they're starting to pringle up a little bit. Um, I had a bigger, much bigger issue with it with the collector booster boxes because the collector booster boxes of this product are are very, very expensive and almost out of the pack. Like they are already come pre curled for you. If that's something you're really into, like curled magic cards, Commander Legends uh, collector boosters are the product for you. They, they even were gracious enough to pre-curl them for you. <laughs> Armorcraft Judge. Hey, the Lagoon Mystic. We've got our Turtle Shaman. Ooh, hey, look at that. For uh, people that are into such things. Here, let me put this down real quick. You can see that this... See that right there? We've got a nice little uh, crimping right there for our Lagoon Mystic. That might actually carry some extra value as a result. I'll be honest, I don't follow that particular sect of magic as, as much, but I know that some of those cards, those error cards and those crimping cards, actually do carry a nice little premium to them. Angelic Gift. All right, moving right along. Crimped Arkelos, huh? Very interesting. Yeah, so I'm excited for Baldur's Gate. Um, a, I'm looking forward to a commander product that actually I get a, an opportunity to draft and play in a limited format. Um, that I am quite excited about. Sandstone Oracle, Soul of Eternity as the rare, and Numa, Jorga, Jorga Chieftain, Filigree Thrasher, 
and the operative. Yep, so I'm excited to be able to have a Commander Legends product that I did I have an opportunity to draft and play in a limited format. That part I'm excited about. I have warmed up to some of the new cards. Um, at first, I wasn't super thrilled to see that there wasn't um, a lot of reprint equity used in the set, but I imagine that they're probably saving that for Double Masters 2. And I'm also okay with the idea of just having a new set with brand new, all brand new cards as well. Oh, Hole Breacher. Oh, you would have been such a spicy hit at some at one point. You would have been such a spicy hit. That would have been uh, a fantastic hit at one point. Not so much as more anymore. Strength of the pack. Sun Main Familiar and another Fleet Admiral. That's our second one of those as a, as a foil. Okie dokie. Yeah, that whole breacher would have been a... That would have been a certifiable big hit, big box hit at one point. But since it is banned in Commander, that is where it was seeing most of its play. Um, still see, does still see some play, but lost a lot of value as a result of the Commander banning. All right, next up we've got Supreme Will. We've got the Advocist, another patron of the Valiant, a Wheel of Misfortune, Wheel of Misfortune, turn, 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 tell us the lesson that we should learn, Tormod the Desecrator, another Keen-Eyed, is that, oh, that's just dust, and another Sanitarium Skeleton, hmm, okay, where are, uh, where are my Crowdlands, where are my other spicy mythics? And I don't know, I'll be honest, I don't know the track. I know that this, this set is heavily track printed. I can't say that I know the track printing well enough to know what transfusion, uh, profane transfusion may or may not mean in terms of the mythic category. So uh, it really will be a surprise to me one way or the other what other mythics we get. We've got Ember Wild Captain as our next rare. Another Noxious Dragon. Sifter Worm. And Wild Heart Invoker as a uh, foil common. We are probably halfway through the box now. We are stuck on one mythic. Uh, we do not have a commander mythic. <clears throat> and um, we don't have any crowd lands. So, so far, other than, <clears throat> excuse me, other than a very crimped Archelos, uh, not a ton to write home about. Hopefully we can turn that around. We've got Victimize, Togo Goblin Weaponsmith, good old Kessig Ranger, Obeka Brute Chronologist, a card that I am always a fan of, so I'm cool with that. We've got Stinger Fling Spider, another Thirst for Knowledge, and Thorn of the Black Rose as the foil. All right. I'd like to see this box turn it around. Please. Pretty please. What do you guys think out there? Are you guys excited for uh, Baldur's Gate Commander Legends? Are you guys lukewarm on it? What are we thinking? What's the temperature out there? Intangible Virtue, Virtue, excuse me, Revenant, Triumphant Reckoning as our second mythic. That's, that's, that's not good. That's not great. All right, we've got Ragarok, Son of, Son of Ragara, Sky Warden, and Kite Sail Corsair as the foil common. So we are two mythics in, and uh, they have both been very underwhelming, would be one way to put it. We're still at zero crowd lands, and we have not hit any sort of uh, foil rare yet. So this is the last pack of the middle row, and right now I would say we're playing from pretty far behind on the scoreboard. Also, I haven't seen a ton of like the other super good uncommons either. Furnace Celebration, uh, Kumbaj Witches, I like to call them Kumbaya Witches, Dreamstone Hedron, hey, Jessica's Will, okay, there we go. There is a nice rare hit right there. Desperately needed that. Jessica's Will is probably still carrying uh, $16, $17 in value, so that is nice. Had to have it. Malcolm, another keen-eyed navigator for like the fourth time this box. Ingenuity Engine. And a Fiery Cannonade as the foil common. All right, we are now officially in the last row. The Jessica's Will did help us out, but um, this box is going to need a couple more pulls to bail us out. Good luck to us. All right, Far Haven Elf, Command Tower. All right, we've got our Spectral Searchlight, Vow of Wildness, Lightning Rig Crew, another Noxious Dragon, Horizon Stone as the rare. Decent little rare right there. Slurk, the All Ingesting, another Sun Main Familiar, and another Kite Sail Skirmisher. Uh, that's I think that's like the third one of those, like the, just as a foil common. This box, again, 
has some weird vibes to it. Only some weird vibes. Again, I don't even know what all that means. All right. We've got our Coast Align Marauders as the first uncommon of the box, of the pack, excuse me. Monstrous, monstrous Onslaught. Slaughter the, the Strong. We've got our Oath Sworn Sentinel as the rare. Strength of the pack. Hey, Moon Kraken, nice little uncommon. And Cast Down, which would have been a pretty cool uncommon at one point, as far as like a uncommon foil. <laughs> Cast Down used to actually carry some, some value back when it was seeing uh, standard play. Still no Crowdlands. Still two Mythics, neither of which uh, I would be posting on the fridge for Mom and Dad to see is something I'm proud of. So, um, hopefully we get bailed out in this last, last third of the box here. All right, we've got Siren Storm Tamer. We've got another Revenant, Brass Herald, Necrotic Hex as the rare. Beefy casting cost, that's for sure. We've got our Comedic Genius. I think that's a Commander rare. Blim the Comedic Genius. And Captain's Call as the uh, Captain's Call as the foil. And an, uh, actually, I think that's like our first Prismatic Piper of the box. I don't. I think I've actually seen another one of those yet. Very interesting. So no Commander Mythic yet, no Crowd Lands. This box better have a heck of a finish. Okay, Codex Shredder, Humble Defector, Pride of the Perfect, Slash the Ranks as the rare, Ember Claw Familiars, Kedis Ember Claw Familiar as the uncommon, uh, Flesh Sculptor as another uncommon. And a Renegade Tactics as the foil. Common. One, two, three. There are four packs left in this box. This might... Is this... What does this rank amongst <laughs> sad Commander Legends openings? Holy moly. All of a sudden, Baldur's Gate can't come soon enough. Sheesh. All right. Please for strong finishes. All right, uh, this got to be our play set of Noxious Dragons. Probably, uh, why not? Earth's Wardwing Familiar. Another Fencing Ace. Crark the Thumbless. Actually, that's probably a pretty decent card. That, that might have a little bit of value to it. Good old Thumbless Crark. Eye of the Storm. Goblin Artisan. And a weird war Wardwing Familiar. Was, was that the second one of the pack? Yeah, it sure was, because I let off with the Noxious Dragon. That was just buried in the back of the pack. Strange, strange printing. Okay, and oh, and there was no foil in that pack as a result. Cool. What is going on here? Well... All right, Shadow Cat Familiar. Celebrant of Bounty. Radiant Sarah Archangel. Okay, well, there is a Commander Mythic. It is Jessica Thrice Reborn. We did at least get another Mythic in there, and that was the Commander Mythic, so that's cool. We got our Flesh Sculptor. Another Celebrant of Bounty, this in the same pack. And a Goblin Trailblazer as a Foil Common. Uh, hmm. This box. Unsure what to do here. Well, we at least, like, like I said, we at least got a Commander Mythic out of it. Hopefully, we get at least one other Mythic in this box. And we still got no crowd land, so we're at a zero, a zero land box. Okay, last two packs. Weird box again. Goblin Artisan, Nightblade, Sunset Pyramid, and a Plague Reaver as the rare, Reverent Medium as the uncommon, Kessick Ranger as the uncommon, and Runaway Together as the common. So we're at the last pack of the box. We're only at two regular mythics. We don't have a foil rare. Uh, we did at least get, yeah, well, this box is, I don't know. I don't know if I can make excuses for this box, this, this box so far. This better, uh, this better have some real spice in the end here. I'm officially worried about how bad this box might actually end up being here. All right, Salvage Splicer. Brazen Plunderer, another Sun Main Familiar, another Soul of Eternity as a rare. Thorn of the Glade, Master of the Review, yikes, and a Prismatic Piper followed by a Golem Token. Woof.
This, uh, did I just miss, did I myth, miss a mythic by chance? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, so this seems like a terrible box. <laughs> this seems, uh, seems not great at all. Uh, the Crimped Arcalos might be our most valuable card aside from the Jessica's Will. Wow, well, here we go. Um, not sure where to rank this box other than bad. <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know what to do here. This is uh, this is wild. I have not seen this before. No foil rares, nothing. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Bring on Commander Legends to Baldur's Gate. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button for me and drop some comments as well. Appreciate y'all. Have a great day.